Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Carol's Daily Songs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell so that you, beautiful person, are reminded of all the videos that I upload. And I upload quite a bit, not many, like I used to say. Anyway, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I picked up a few new subscribers and I am tickled pink as always. One moment. I'm sorry you guys, every time I do a, a live, every time I do a video, I always, 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 excuse me, my nose is itching, always um, tend to forget to make sure that my phone is plugged up. But anyway, I'm here with a video, basically just talking about um, uh, George Floyd, um, talking about California and the state of emergency. As most of you already know, I live in California. Unfortunately, I live very close to the city uh, where there has been a lot of looting. Um, there has been fire set to Walmart. There have been looting all over at Bayfair Mall, which is one of our malls, and a lot of chaos, a lot, a lot of chaos. Right now, as it stands, we are on a, uh, we are on a curfew. We, we meaning the Californians, everyone in the state of California is in a state of emergency, has been declared a state of emergency, the state has. Um, and so what we're doing now is just trying to live life. Those of us that have to still go to work, you go to work, but 8 p.m. to 5 a.m., you need to be in the house. To make a very long story short, what has happened is a lot of people have taken really to do all kinds of things. I mean, there have been a lot of hit and runs. There has been an increase with hitting runs. There has been an increase with uh, shootings and killings of people. There has been Y'all, I got these, excuse me, I got these, I'm not gonna even get that one. I got these earphones and I told you guys I have really small ears. My ears are not big at all. So what ends up happening is every time I buy something, they tend to fall out my ears. Now, I thought I was putting them in wrong, but they keep falling out. So I'm thinking I probably need a smaller little bitty situation. Anybody that may be interested in this beautiful hair, this is a company that got in touch with me. I will have all the details in the comment section. This hair is a 20 inch straight hair that I actually waved up a little bit and it, the company paid me to do it. Um, I will be doing a video shortly after this one on this hair and I'm let you guys what I really, really think of it. I think it's very pretty. I usually don't wear 20 inch because I like the shorter hair as I am a little bit older, but I just wanted to get on here and just kind of connect with you guys, talk to you guys about what's going on, what I've been doing and my Amazon order is coming in. So the dogs are going berserk. Um, but to make a very long story short, um, we're just trying to make it. It is a lot of stuff going on. Now, if you're unsure about what I'm actually talking about, George Floyd is a young man who was killed uh, last week or a couple of weeks ago in Minneapolis. He ended up being murdered as a result of being in police custody. The police have issued a autopsy report and the autopsy report that the police have issued indicates that the reason Mr. Fulman, or Fulton, I'm sorry, the reason Mr. Fulton died is because of underlying issues as well as drug use. Sounds about right for us, right? No, that wasn't the case. The man who actually arrested him and had his knee and his neck, which caused him to asphyxiate, suffocate to death, was a security guard who worked with him. So what I want you guys to know is his family, uh, Mr. Fulton's family came out and they have a completely different, um, completely different autopsy as to what everybody else or what the authorities for the police department autopsy is saying. Another thing that I also wanted to let you guys know is that the police officers who were involved in the situation, as far as I know, are still working. However, their boss has been fired. So all of the uproar and chaos that we have going on, not only in my state, all across the country, everywhere, 
we had a video that came on and we actually seen it on the YouTube where a lady was actually acting as if she was and Caucasian lady was acting as if she was a barrier in front of the blacks who were going into the outfitter store and looting it. Now, my reason for doing this video is for one reason only, and it's just to bring awareness. It's not to bash anybody for their nationality. It's not to bash, because I don't, I, I, I don't know what happened. All I know is what I've seen, and what I've seen is what I'm sure all of you all have seen is he was unfairly murdered. He was murdered, period, point blank. And if you really, really think about it, yes, his family will be able to possibly sue the police department. However, it'll never bring their family member back. So that's the thing that, that, uh, that really, really baffles me is that people, police departments all over the country and all across the world think that it's okay to kill our black man and not have to suffer repercussions or consequences. As a result of it, people are going a buck. They're going buck wild. They're, they're, they're right now, right now where I live at, they're popping off with guns up in the air, okay? Because guess what? There is limited, limited, limited police activity. So because there's limited police activity, they're free to do whatever it is that they want to do because number one the police are kind of stretched a little thin they're not going to be able to make it to them in time unfortunately my son was walking home from the store and on his way walking back from the store he had seen a hit and run mind you the night before my husband and i had seen a hit and run we live at a cross um cross street and it's not a busy, it is a busy street because it is a cross street. And it's a street that crosses two streets that are very busy. Um, and so what he did is he was just walking home from the store from getting probably something to drink. And he seen it, the accident. When he seen the accident, he knew they were gonna have an accident because he see, seen the way that they were driving. So we have, you know, mechanisms. He put his hand up like this, and thank God my son put his hand up like this, because had he not blocked his hand, he would have been hit with a big piece of debris that came off the car, because what happened is the car ended up colliding with the other car, and then one of the cars drove off. So that's the second hit and run that we've known about, possibly, in the last three days. Um, I believe I heard that the National Guard were going to be coming out here to Alameda County, um, uh, San Leandro County, um, where I live, um, and to try to bring some order back to the state. But you can bring anybody that you want to bring. You can bring the National Guard. You can bring whomever. The only thing that's going to start right now with what is going on and what's being allowed to be done is a race war. Honestly and truly, that's the only thing that's gonna be done. People are gonna get tired of just being um, murdered and shot simply for being pulled over. And I think the thing about, or just being taken in custody, the thing about it that really, really is perturbed to me is that in the video, if you've seen the video, you clearly heard Mr. Fulton say, I can't breathe. This is the second time I know in the last three years that I have seen a police officer take someone in, in custody. And we had a situation where we were able to view the killing of a person by someone literally suffocating the person while in custody. And it has to come to a time in which we are going to stop. Just like Oprah, Winfrey, and Gail were talking today and they were talking about how the state that it's not only the state of California it's the country it's the world the world today is in an uproar and you guys know something that was really really weird that happened to us we were here today everybody was relaxing and everything um and we were looking at tv y'all know what my phone is always on side up. my phone vibrated as if I was getting some type of uh some type of message or something it vibrated and once it vibrated the electricity went out, the TV went out, everything just went blank. 
So my husband, when he got home, he told us that the same thing happened to him. Now, the electricity was only out for about 10 minutes, but it kind of lets you know what the government is capable of doing because there is no way that the electricity, where my husband works is completely a good distance away from where we live. So it's a lot of stuff that's going on and we have to be um, aware of it. If you are someone who is still going out and about in California, not taking heed to the protests, not taking heed to what the authorities are actually asking us to do, you really, really need to be um, on guard because the crazy thing about it, people are going in stores without masks. When they are asked to put a mask on, they are robbing stores. They are attacking people. Y'all, this ain't nothing like your, but my jewelry. I have, I'm a jewelry person. I guess I could have cleaned my, <laughs> I guess I could have cleaned my mirror. My husband always gets gets mad at me because my husband does that. He usually cleans my mirror for me. But those are all bracelets. This is all my makeup and stuff like that. So that's what you see in the background. Um, but anyway, um, we just have to get to a point where we are literally, literally, literally saying, you know what, enough is enough. But in the process of saying enough is enough, we have to be accountable, number one, for the things that we do. Number two, we need to be accountable for the people that we know and love, our family and members and friends. We have to be accountable. We can't be running around the bus, acting crazy, doing things, because you know what's gonna end up happening? What's gonna end up happening is the same thing that happened a couple of months ago. We're gonna get completely shut down, and then they're not gonna do the whole four, five, six, seven months of stimulus, y'all, because the country can't take it. We can't take it. We don't have the, the monetary means to keep going in debt for the situation. Unemployment is about to run out all over the world. I just read on the news um, today that if you are a social security beneficiary, all of these stimulus payments and things may affect you in the future. So it's really something that we need to think about. Um, what I would say, if anything, is go to work and come home. Only do essential travel. Try not to get into altercations and things with people. Be kind to people wear your mask. I'm somebody who um, has breathing difficulties, so the mask is irritating to me. Not only do I have <laughs> breathing difficulties, but I also have um, a panic attack situation disorder. And what ends up happening is, after a while of having that mask on my mouth, I'm <laughs> I kind of hyper, you know, and so, I have to tell, you know, literally tell myself, Carol, Carol, calm down. I don't know when it's going to be over because somebody said something that really, really made sense. They said, we don't know where it came from, so how are we going to know how to get rid of it? So just continue to do everything that you can within your power to be kind, number one, so you don't find yourself in situations. I'm a mother, excuse me, of three young black men, three. Three young black men. I have a young black uh, grandson, but he's only four. So, you know, his interactions with the police will be very rare. But my other three sons are all of age, all adults, and they will definitely have interaction uh, with the police officers. But the one thing that I can tell you is if you raise them right, when they are not around you, they will make sure that you are proud and hopefully not be put in situations where their actions, our children's actions are questioned. Continue to pray for your children as they leave your household. Um, pray for your children as they go to work. Pray for your children as they go to daycare, as some of them are. Continue to just pray for our country. The Bible tells us in, um, um, in Jeremiah, uh, it says in Jeremiah that if my people, I'm sorry, it's not Jeremiah, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 of the King James Bible basically says that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and repent of their sins, then I will hear from them in heaven and I will heal the land. And basically what God is telling us is that we, we need to cry out to him, we need to pray out to him and ask him 
about the situations, ask him to help us in these times of need. These are times that we definitely, definitely need the Lord. And if you don't know the Lord, you can know him by crying out to him and telling him all the things that you are having issues with. He always has an open ear. He always has a heart for you. I'm sorry, y'all. He always has an open heart for you and myself. And so um, just make sure that what you're doing is that you are being safe, um, that you're being a loving individual, and that you are smiling everywhere you go. And just thanking God for the very fact that you are alive. Because you know what the reality is? The reality is someone, somewhere, did not wake up this morning. I would like to uh, discuss this further. I don't want to go into too much detail. I think it's a lot of hurt that has went on with the story as it is. When I do the screenshot, I can't even, or not the screenshot, but the thumbnail, I can't even put that on there. But I will be able to do some kind of... Um, some kind of, uh, excuse me y'all, some kind of um, I will be able to do some kind of thumbnail, something. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know because I've been getting a lot of text messages. How are you? You know, my kids were asking me how I was doing. Everybody was asking me how I was doing. And I just want you guys to know that I'm well. I'm well. You know why I'm well? Because honey, girlfriend ain't going nowhere. If I can't get it by ordering it online, I'm not going to get it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Carol's Daily Sauce. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell to be reminded of all of my lovely, lovely videos. I love each and every one of you very, very much. God bless you. Be prayerful and know that I am praying for you. Bye-bye.